हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर्ट विथ अरुणा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एन सी आर टी क्लास सिक्स चैप्टर एट एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री टू सेवन लेट स्टार्ट थर्ड क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज इज राजू वॉट अ बुक फॉर रुपीज थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव ही गेव रुपीज फिफ्टी टू द शॉप कीपर हाउ मच मनी डिड ही गेट बैक फ्रॉम द शॉप कीपर सो हियर अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन राजू परचेज अ बुक ऑफ कॉस्ट थर्टी फाइव रुपीज सिक्सटी फाइव पैसा एंड फॉर दैट ही पेड फिफ्टी रुपीज टू द शॉप कीपर नाउ वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द मनी विच ही इज गोइंग टू गेट बैक फ्रॉम द शॉप कीपर सो लेट्स राइट डाउन द स्टेटमेंट फॉर दिस सो अवर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज डेफिनेटली द कॉस्ट ऑफ द बुक सो लेट्स राइट डाउन हियर कॉस्ट ऑफ बुक दैट इज इक्वल टू रुपीज Thirty-five point six five. Next is the amount gave to the shopkeeper is fifty rupees. Let's write down money given to shopkeeper. That is equal to rupees fifty. Next, we need to calculate the money he will get back from the shopkeeper. So let's write down money he will get back from shopkeeper. That is equal to we need to subtract the thirty-five rupees sixty-five paisa from this. Fifty rupees, which was the amount paid to the shopkeeper. So let's write down here rupees fifty minus rupees thirty-five point six five. Here you can see that here we don't have any decimal part, but here we have two digits after decimal point is present. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to convert this number into decimal number. So we are going to add two zeros here after decimal point. now we have two digit before and after here in both the numbers now let's subtract this let's do the rough work so 50.00 here 35.65 let's subtract this here we are not able to subtract this 5 from this zero so let's take the borrow from the left hand side so here we will take borrow from this Five, so it will become four. Then this zero will become ten, and then nine. Then this zero will become ten. Then this nine. Then this zero will become ten. So ten minus five, it is five. Nine minus six, it is three. Keep the decimal point at the same position. Next, nine minus five, that is four. Four minus three, that is one. So here our Answer is rupees fourteen point three five. Fourth question of this exercise is Rani had rupees eighteen point five zero. She bought one ice cream for rupees eleven point seven five. How much money does she have now? So according to the question, initially Rani had eighteen rupees fifty paisa. Out of that, she purchased one ice cream of cost eleven rupees seventy five paisa. Now we need to calculate how much money is still left with the Rani. So let's write down the statement for this question. So first of all, we will write total money. Total money. That is eighteen rupees fifty paisa. So we will write eighteen rupees fifty paisa. Now. Next is the cost of the ice cream. Cost of ice cream that is equal to rupees eleven rupees seventy five paisa. Now we need to check the money left with Rani. So here we will write money left. That is. what we need to do we need to subtract the amount of ice cream from the total amount so we will write rupees 18.50 minus rupees 11.75 so here you can check that 
we have two digit before decimal point and two digit after decimal point in both the numbers so we can directly calculate this let's do rough work so here we will write 18.50 and here 11.75 let's subtract this so here 0 minus 5 is not possible let's take one borrow from here so 5 will become 4 this will become 10 10 minus 5 5 4 minus 7 is not possible take one borrow from here 8 will become 7 and this 4 will become 14 14 minus 7 7 keep the decimal point as it is now 7 minus 1 6 1 minus 1 0 so our answer is 6 rupee, rupees 6.75 so here the amount left with Rani is 6 rupees 75 paisa fifth question is Tina had 20 meter 5 centimeter long cloth. She cuts 4 meter 50 centimeter length of cloth from this for making a curtain. How much cloth is left with her? So here according to the question, initially Tina had 20 meter 5 centimeter long cloth and out of this she used 4 meter 50 centimeter cloth for making curtain. Now we need to find out the remaining cloth which is left with Tina now. Let's write down this statement first. First statement will be length of cloth equal to it is 20 meter and 5 centimeter. Next is cloth cut for making curtain. So let's write down cloth cut for making curtain equals to 4 meter 50 centimeter now here you can see that we have given numbers in two different units meter and centimeter to solve this first of all we need to convert this into meter so how we can do this we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so here how many zeros are here two zeros it means centimeter part is always represented with the two digit. Here we have two digit with centimeter but here we have only one digit. So first of all make two digit by adding one zero here. Now we have 0 0.5 centimeter. Now next how we can convert this? Write down the number in the sequence 2005. 2005. Here also 4, 5, 0. 4, 5 0 next how we can convert this into meter now here how many zeros are here two zeros so count two digit from the right side one two and put decimal point here also one two decimal so the conversion of 20 meter 5 centimeter is 20.05 meter and 4 meter 50 centimeter will be 4.50 meter now let's write down the Third statement that is cloth left is equal to now we need to subtract this 4.50 from this 20.05. So 20.05 meter minus 4.50 meter. Let's subtract this here 20.05 and here 4.50 let's subtract first of all here we have only one digit so just add one zero here to balance the number now 5 minus 0 5 0 minus 5 is not possible take borrow from the left side so here 2 will become 1 this 10 and then it will be 9 here 0 will become 10 10 minus 5 5 decimal point as it is next is 9 minus 4 that is 5 1 minus 0 1 so our answer is 15.55 meter sixth question of this exercise is Namita travels 20 kilometer 50 meter every day out of this she travels 10 kilometer 200 meter by bus and the rest by auto how much distance does she travel by auto? So here according to the question, Namita really travels 20 km, 50 meter. 
This distance she covered by bus and the auto. Out of this, ten kilometer and two hundred meter covered by the bus, and we need to find out the distance covered by the auto now. Let's write down these statements first. First is total distance. That is twenty kilometer and fifty meter. Next is distance travelled by buses. Distance travelled by bus. That is ten kilometer and two hundred meter. Here you can see that the distance is here in two different units, kilometer and meter. So to solve this question, first we need to convert this into kilometer. Let's convert this. How we can do this? We know that one kilometer is equals to one thousand meter. So here, how many zeros are here? Three zeros. It means three digit is used to represent the meter part. Here we have three digit. In meter part, but here we have only two digit. So add one zero here to make this meter part three digit. Now, how we can convert this into kilometer? Simply write down the number in sequence two zero zero five zero two zero zero five zero. Here one zero two zero zero one zero two. Zero zero. We are going to convert this into kilometer. How many zeros are here? Three zeros. So count three digits from the right hand side. One, two, three, and put decimal point here. Same. One, two, three, and put decimal point here. Now uh, the given numbers are changed into the same unit. Now third statement will be distance travelled. By auto, so we are going to subtract this distance from this. So let's write down twenty point zero five zero kilometer minus ten point two zero zero kilometer. Let's do some rough work. So two twenty point zero five zero here ten point two zero zero subtract this. Zero minus zero, zero. Five minus zero, five. Zero minus two is not possible. Take borrow from here. Two will become one. Zero will become ten, and then nine. Then this will be ten. Ten minus two, this will become eight. Keep the decimal point as it is. Then nine minus zero, nine. One minus one, zero. So here, total distance travelled by auto is nine point eight five zero kilometer. Last question of this exercise is: Akash bought vegetables weighing 10 kg. Out of this, 3 kg, 500 g is onions, 2 kg, 75 g is tomatoes, and the rest is potatoes. What is the weight of the potatoes? So here, according to question, Akash bought total 10 kg of veggies, but out of this, we know only the weight of two veggies, that is onion and tomatoes. But we don't know the weight of this potato. So what we need to do here? So first of all, we need to add the weight of these two veggies, and then we need to subtract that from this 10 kg. Let's write down the statement for this. Weight of weight of total veggies or vegetables equals to 10 kg. Next is weight of onion. That is three kg, five hundred gram. Next is weight of tomatoes equals to two kg and seventy five gram. now we need to find out the weight of potatoes but before that here you can observe that the given weight in two different unit kilogram and gram so to solve this question first of all we need to convert this into kilogram 
this this number is already in kilogram but here we have kilogram and gram so convert this into kilogram what we need to do we know that 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 gram so here how many zeros are here three zeros are here so here we need three digit to represent the gram part here we have three digits but here we don't have three digit to represent the gram part so let's add one zero here and make three digit to represent gram part next write down the number in sequence 3500 3500 here 2075 here 2075 let's write down the kilogram kilogram now how many zeros are here three zeros it means we need to count the three digit from the right hand side 1 2 3 and put decimal point here also 1 2 3 and put decimal point so now the given number is in kilogram now we need to find out the weight of potatoes so how we can find out the weight of potatoes for this we need to subtract the weight of onion and tomato from this 10 kg so let's write down 10 kg minus 3.500 kg plus 2.075 kg Let's do some rough work. So first of all, add these two numbers. So here, three point five zero zero, two point zero seven five. Let's add this. This is five. This is seven. This is five. Copy decimal point as it is. Three plus two five. So next step will be ten kg minus. This will be five point five seven five kg. now we need to subtract this this number from this 10 kg again we are going to do rough work here so 10 we don't have any decimal part here so add one decimal point here and three zeros next 5.575 let's subtract this 0 minus 5 is not possible take borrow from here this will be 0 then this will be 10 then 9 This will be ten, then nine. This will be ten, and then nine. This will be ten. Here ten minus five, five. Here nine minus seven, two. Nine minus five, four. Keep decimal point as it is. Nine minus five, four, zero. So here total weight of potatoes is four point four two five kilogram. Thanks for watching friends don't forget to like subscribe share and comment on this video thank you